Hi, good morning. Kevin Martin here, your UT admissions guy, joining you again from Dallas, Texas. In this video, I provide tips and advice for transferring, transferring into UT Austin's computer science program. So the first thing to understand about computer science, and, and you probably already know this, but it's extremely competitive. Um, not just for first time freshmen, but especially for transfers. It tends to be the kind of major when students get into computer science, they oftentimes stay in that major and then finish their degree. And so there's not that many spaces that are available either for internal or external students um, who are interested in pursuing computer science. UT Austin hasn't released any specific statistics about their transfer admissions pool, um, but it just is the case that it's really competitive. Um, I know last year I had a client who had a 4.0 GPA, they had undergraduate research experience, they had an internship at a technology firm, and I thought that like, like almost for sure they were going to get in, and I think in years past that student would have gotten in, um, but they were um, not offered admission to UT Austin Computer Science, um, which was definitely a surprise and a disappointment. And computer science programs across the state of Texas and the United States are getting more competitive. So if you're applying, interested in studying computer science at UT Austin, I strongly suggest that you also submit applications for UT Dallas Computer Science, Texas A&M, um, Texas Tech, University of Houston, um, to give yourself as many options um, as possible to consider um, whenever you're navigating that transition from your current institution um, to another program. My advice is, is really this is a minimum uh, recommendation that you need at least a 3.9 GPA or higher. Um, a lot of relevant experience, particularly independent computer science studies, programming, um, and you also just need a lot of luck, right? The transfer admissions process depends on the number of spaces that are available and the number of students they're looking to admit. Um, for first time freshmen, that number is pretty much the same most years, but for transfers, there's just no way to know how many spaces are available. So, um, you know, have low expectations about getting into UT computer science, and if you do get in, take it as a pleasant surprise. Um, so what are reviewers looking for? So they're looking definitely for demonstrated coursework in STEM. Um, it helps for sure if you've taken um, computer science programming classes. They also want to see um, coursework in um, you know, physics for science majors, chemistry, definitely the first year of calculus or even advanced mathematics like linear algebra or differential equations um, if it's offered at your university. Um, there's a minimum requirement of, of at least three STEM courses in addition to calculus. Um, reviewers are also interested in seeing how you spend your free time. So it's not just participating in extracurricular organizations or um, having leadership positions for your robotics team, for example, but they want to see how are you spending your free time. And particularly for computer science, and this is especially true on your resume, they want to see that you have um, independent study, any projects that you've done in your spare time, that could be like game design, um, video work, website design, search engine optimization. They want to see um, what computer languages you know, what resources you've utilized, any um, of these uh, massive open online courses you've taken or, or certificates you might have earned um, that are relevant to computer science. Um, so focus on that in your resume for sure. And also um, really develop in your essay A um, where you've come from academically and professionally, um, where you're at at your current university or job, and how you think UT Austin Computer Science can help you achieve um, your long-term academic and professional goals. Um, for your essay E, it's also important if you're choosing an issue of importance to discuss something that's STEM related. Um, hopefully something that you have personal experience with, um, but also um, that might demonstrate or show an interest in future research, internship, or um, study abroad opportunities um, that UT Austin can help you out with. I've already touched on a few, thing, a few things that you should note, um, particularly those programming languages and independent study, um, but if you are a non-traditional student with professional experience, um, perhaps you've worked in information technology, or if you're a military veteran who's um, worked in kind of relevant STEM or programming fields, um, really be sure to focus on that in your resume um, and in that SAA. You can also talk about any relevant or related um, computer experience, things like um, video work, uh, website design, photography, um, online marketing, search engine optimization, or, or like cryptocurrency trading, for example. Anything that can demonstrate um, you know, as much interest as possible that you're making an informed decision to study computer science um, will help impress reviewers. Finally, it's really important to emphasize why UT is the best fit for you specifically. So don't talk vaguely about how UT has great computer resources, um, but focus specifically on things like the Dell um, Computer Science Center, the Bill and Melinda um, Gates Computer Science Complex. Um, identify specific professors that share your interests. Um, courses that may not be offered at your current four-year university, for example, that UT Austin might have. Um, you can also research various res um, you know, research opportunities and labs or student organizations that can help you achieve your goals. 
So that's all I have to share about UT Austin Computer Science um, admissions. Um, I also have blog posts, so be sure to check out my website, textadmissions.com. As always, you can reach out to me at kevin at textadmissions.com and complete my questionnaire for a free consultation, which you can find in the information section of this video. Thanks, and I hope you have a great day.